Hey guys, welcome to the Trash Picture Show. Today we're looking at another older figure in my collection. This is the Bandai slash BDCom Suicide Squad Harley Quinn. Now, this is a bit of a change up from the other figures I get. I usually get NECA action figures. And I decided to get this because I had heard a lot of good things about the MIDICOM Bandai figures. I think in certain regions they are called Bandai, in other regions they're called MIDICOM. But they do these like hyper articulated kind of action figures that while not as high spec as NECA, there is something cool about them. You can put them in a lot more poses and do a lot more interesting things with with your figures. And it's not just like DC characters. I think they do like the likes of John Wick, uh, The Dark Knight Rises. I think you can get a Selena Kyle version from The Dark Knight Rises, uh, Avengers. Uh, X-Men, certain Alien and Predator figures. Uh, mainly though, I think they do the likes of Gundam, Gundam Wynn and Berserk and Sailor Moon figures. I think Neve has a couple of these uh, Sailor Scouts. I, I might have gotten her one or two. But I think they mainly focus on more Eastern properties, but they also do some cool Western properties. And I decided, because I think Margot Robbie and Will Smith, but mainly Vargo Robbie, was one of the major redeeming factors of Suicide Squad. I decided to get this Harley. And she also kicked ass in Birds of Prey. It shouldn't have been called Birds of Prey. It should have been called Harley Quinn. And herself and Gal Gadot are two actresses and characters that do need to be retained if they are changing over the DCEU. I think they were two of the most positive kind of things to come out of those movies. But I digress. Back to the figure. Really nice detail. Really great kind of posability in the figure. Kind of a lot of a lot of different poses, a lot of different actions. You can you can move and contort the figure a lot of ways. And just really cool kind of different poses and stuff you can get out of her. The detail, while not as good as NECA, is fairly damn close. I mean Look at the level of detail on her shirt. Daddy's little monster. Really nice kind of calligraphy there. And the rip on the shirt. And the different jewellery. Her tattoos. Really cool. The face is pretty good as well. It's it's not exactly Margot Robbie's face. But it's damn close. And it, it looks pretty cool. Just even the detailing on her kind of high heel trainers. Just really, really nice detailing. Again... Not as high spec as NECA, but fairly damn close. And she does come with a nice few accessories. A hell of a lot, as you, you get more than with NECA. But I, I digress. I shall show you that. She came with this. This was actually a little kind of box slash stand. And I stupidly... Two things I stupidly done with this. I damaged the hook. And I also threw out some decals, which were... And for a baseball bat, I'll show you that in a while. But yeah, when you're not using the excess parts, you can store the rest in here. So she gets uh, two heads, a baseball bat, a revolver, and two sets of hands. Two gloved and two ungloved. Now, I'll show you the pistol first because there's some really nice detailing on the pistol there. I mean, for the size of it, they do a really good job. Like, that's, that's pretty cool. And the cool thing is, it even can go into, she has a built-in holster here. I don't know if you can see that, but she has a holster that you can, can pop the revolver in there. Uh, again, this is the baseball bat, and I... I think I may have thrown out the decals that were included in the box. The box is somewhere in the attic. That's why I didn't bring it down. But uh, yeah, basically you'd get stickers and you'd make it look more like the baseball bat that was featured in the movie. And just to give you a close up on the hands. So you got these because it, it gave it really lets you kind of ex uh, kind of expand the range of possibility with the multiple hands you can get so yeah there's the two hands on with the kind of pistol grip for the trigger uh, one open palmed one there and you also get two heads this head 
very cheeky kind of smile and again the pigtails are posable as well so you can you can like have it like she's falling or running or doing something crazy something very Harley Quinn-esque and a more serious face and obviously you saw that one this kind of crazy maniacal laughing face yeah so they're they're pretty cool again if you're a fan of DC or Batman or Joker or Harley Quinn this is one to pick up you can also get her in her Suicide Squad kind of cocktail dress figure form and I might actually try and get get that version as well really nice figure and again they come in a wide range of stuff they come in a lot of Western properties like uh, obviously Batman, John Wick, uh, Predator, Marvel, but you can also get the likes of Gundan Wynn or Evangelion or Sailor Moon. Neve has a rake of them in the kind of Sailor Moon sets. So yeah, they're, they're well worth it. And if you hunt online, you can find them. They're not super dear, uh, but they, they are very limited. So you might have trouble trying to find them. But if you do hunt around online, you can find them. So yeah. Do you have this Harley Quinn figure or do you have other Harley Quinn figures? If so, uh, tell me what figures you have in the comments below. And also, were you happy with Margot Robbie's performance in Suicide Squad and Birds of Prey and you hope to see her back? Or would you like to see her replaced by uh, another actress in um, the role of Harley Quinn? Who would, you have, who would you have replaced her with? A lot of people were saying that Brittany Murphy before she died could have been Harley Quinn or uh, I was watching my cousin Vinny and I think uh, Marissa Tomei done a very good kind of Harley Quinn-esque voice but uh, yeah leave your thoughts in the comments below and uh, yeah have a good one take care bye now